Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the I-5 Mad Hatter. I told you, I've been promising you for days and days and days now that I was going to bring on the Alice in Wonderland girl. <laughs> You've seen her. If you didn't know what you were seeing, she was the Alice in Wonderland girl in the skirt, and I put it on the intro. But here's the girl that's in the skirt. There she is. Can you see her? I think I can see her. Rena, good morning. Well, actually, it's good afternoons. It is afternoon. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Woohoo! We finally have you. Finally. Finally. Rena, tell us about yourself. Take us down a rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, my name is Rena Eccles. I'm a wife, I'm a mother. I am passionate about fitness and uh, being fit and getting people fit. I'm a personal trainer. I work at a couple gyms in the uh, Western Washington area. Um, I enjoy hanging out with my family. Um, we race boats in the summertime, my daughter and my husband. Um, I like to go camping. I like to go shooting. And uh, I'm sure we'll find out lots more along the way, but that's me in a nutshell that's you in a nutshell yeah just a nutshell <laughs> we got lots of time to dig into all the ins and outs arenas i'm sure you sure about that oh i'm sure you sure we got all that time not today but you know eventually <laughs> <laughs> not today <laughs> she's funny i told you i was finding you a funny one all right so uh let me ask you a few questions miss rena Shoot. Shoot. What? Speaking of shooting, we're going to go down that rabbit hole. Oh, boy. What do, you, what do you think about what happened down in the FL? You know, I think it's uh, the nation has a morale problem. Um, we're raising these kids and without consequences or anything. It's... Uh, you know, they just don't have any concept of right or wrong. And it's unfortunate. Um, it's not a gun issue. It's not a hate. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a morale issue. That's the problem. Well, that's interesting that you'd say that. That uh, it's a morale. Uh, it, it, it literally is a morale issue. Because when I was growing up, we went out and we brought twenty two caliber rifles into school. And during physical education class, we were taught how to shoot rifles yep. in physical edu education class. That and bows and arrows and all kinds of different things. So, you know, uh, I guess the morale of 30 years ago, a whole lot different than it is today. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I definitely think so. I definitely think so. We're plopping our kids in front of iPads and cell phones and smartphones and video games and you know just letting society teach them and society's not on the right path <laughs> you know i i totally agree with that so uh now we've talked a little bit about that kind of understand where you're coming from and i don't want to i don't want to sound like you and i are a, an echo chamber you know i okay. one time i'm going to be the devil the devil <laughs> and you could be the devil's advocate. That's this time. The next time, I'm going to be the devil's advocate, and you be the devil's advocate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sure. So, next question. Next question for you, because I'm just seeing how you're going to be seen by the folks that are already listening to us. And by the way, we passed 125. <laughs> What? What? 125. You know, That's if each one of those folks went out and shared with each one of their friends, and each one of their friends signed up and started listening to free audio and video, there'd be 250 in that long. Yep. It's yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah. And then each one of them, within a matter of seconds, minutes, shared with one of their friends, 500, 1,000, 2,000. It just, it just grow. It'll just grow. Yeah. But on the, in the meantime, 
The next question is going to be this. What do you know about our weather? And I'm going to, I'm going to break that down into two different things. Okay. What do you know about the sun's weather? And what do you know about the earth's weather and how we're going, you know, the things that are happening right now? Well, today it's beautiful. Ain't I it? Didn't know that. It's sunny. <laughs> It's not too cold. Uh, we've had a weird winter where uh -huh. all of February it tried to snow, and that's really odd um, for us. Yep. Um, and then across the nation, I feel like it's just been a lot of really extreme weather, um, which is unusual for this time of year. Kind of weird, ain't it? It really weird. Really weird. Um, I do know that the sun has its own weather. I don't know anything about it. Um, I know that, it ha what is it? Sunspots or something or sun, sun. Oh, you've been paying attention, haven't you? What do you, what'd you call them? Sun, what are they Sunspot. called? Yeah. Sunspots. Yeah. yeah. Sunspots. Um, you said that influence our weather here too. Um, but I don't know anything about it. I I don't know anything about it. Uh, the ins and outs of that kind of weather. Yeah. I just know what I'm experiencing here, which is a really late winter for our region. Uh huh. And one of the reasons for that is, is that our sunspots have disappeared. Our sunspots. The sunspots give us the radiation through the means of the solar wind. You've heard of the solar wind, yeah? Yes. And wind has a density, whether it's coming from the sun or it's just blowing around the planet that we live on. And right now, our scientists, our physicists, know that the sun has decreased in its intensity of solar wind and the density, not just the intensity, the, the, the wind rushing by our beautiful little blue ball out here in space but the density of that wind and when you cut down the wind and the density of the wind the earth is going to get colder and okay. what what's everybody talking about everybody's talking there, about that the earth is getting warmer warmer global warming <laughs> right <laughs> yeah because I've come to this, I've come to this point in my life where everything I see off of mainstream media, off of the radio, off of the TV, which I don't even own anything that I can watch actual mainstream media. I have to get it off the off YouTube. Literally, I get it off the internet. So I I get to pick and choose what I have to see. You don't and, own a TV? Huh? You don't own a TV? Oh, I own a TV, but it's more of a monitor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's kind of like a secondary monitor that we watch, you know, uh, Netflix. The wife and I, we watch Netflix. Yep, yep, yep. Watch the Netflix through our, our big screen TV. But we do not own cable. We don't have cable. Okay. It's just internet. It's complete, utter internet. But everything that you see talks about warming the planet up. And right. I say everything you see on the mainstream media, flip it 180 degrees, whatever they say, 180 degrees reversed. And that's the truth. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm serious. Everything we have been seeing. I, I'm, I didn't think you were lying. No, everything we've been seeing for the last, you know, two, three years, everything except, except sports. Sports. They cannot lie about sports, right? No. Yeah. I mean, Celtics beat the Lakers. That's verified. The players are going to verify it. The referees, the judges, everybody on that court, everybody that's in the stands is going to verify when one team beats the other team. Got it. Yeah. But the thing we cannot verify, unless we have certain kinds of education or connections with other people, we can't verify anything that the mainstream media tells us like fl we can't verify that we have to take what they tell us is the truth <laughs> we have to yeah because there's no other verification same thing with las vegas 
are you wanting to get in here? <laughs> are you are you want are you wanting to get in here and see Rena? Spice wants is that the see. injured puppy? Or is that no, the No, no, no. She's she's got the cone of shame on her head. She stepped on a twig and it went, you know, in the web. <sighs> yeah, just kinda it pinched off. It didn't bleed much at all, but I had to go have her get the stick taken out and stitch it up. Because I didn't have the stitches. I'd have done it myself. No, I do those kind of things. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rena and everybody. Hello. Hello. I, yep. See that? Bye. She's sweetheart. Bye. Say hi. Say hi. Pretty girl. Say hi. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> She's looking for you now. Come here. Yeah. Look Mine, up. mine's looking up at me at the other couch over there. <laughs> All right, now lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. She's like, Papa, who is that? Who's that strange person on the TV? Well, what she thinks is the TV. All right, let's get back to this. So, let's see. That was the second question about the sun's weather, the Earth's weather. We know it's messed up. And everything we're told is messed up. Yep. So the last and final question, and we're going to get off here because we've already gone, what, 15 minutes? I think so. I think we've already done 15 minutes. People have a real short attention span. And I've been yes. kind of stretching my videos out to see how far they'll actually listen. And so far, the metrics that YouTube gives me, they say that most people only last about five to seven minutes on any video yeah that is not i buy enough, it <laughs> that is not enough time to talk to a pretty girl <laughs> hell isn't enough time to talk to a crazy mad hatter huh 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 it, it, it's just not long enough right oh no just not no you could talk for a long time if you you know the subjects right but not necessarily you're not gonna have the viewership Right, tiny little attention spans. Attention Guilty. spans relate to the brain matter inside these ears. You know what I mean? Yep. Some folks you can talk to for hours and hours and hours and never bypass the same subject once. Other people, you can't get through half of the one subject before they're shut off. Yep, Make two sense? notes. But, you know, I mean, the subject I'm, I'm trying to bring out is my Alice in Wonderland. So, why are you so, um, let's say, uh, enamorated with Alice in Wonderland? Well, let's see. I was her for Halloween because my daughter was the uh, Cheshire Cat. <laughs> so, I kind of got thrown into it, but... Uh, She's always been a fun character to me. Um, I think because she's so naive to the world, you know, I think um, it's just an open place for her to learn. Expand on that. Um, what else? I don't know if I can. <laughs> um, yeah, through her adventures, it's just, you know, it's every day. It, I mean, I've, I've used this to explain people that are not that bright, but she's not a dumb character by any means. But every day is the first day for her. Not in a bad way, though, in a good way, where, you know, she is just in this fantasy land and learning about herself through all these different travels too. I'm getting smooches. I'm getting <laughs> smooches. Oh, she just will not leave me alone. By the way, one of this girl's puppies is named Alice. Simply oh yeah. Yeah. Her oldest, her oldest puppy was a female and her name is Alice. And there's another reason that I named her Alice is because Alice is the name of a witch from Ireland that uh, that 
which was called out for her open-mindedness. Uh. She wanted to change her people and change her culture uh, and become more magical. And I'm somebody, I don't know if magic really works or everything that works is magic. You Hard follow? Yeah. Because if we don't work, nothing magical ever happens. And how magical are we? Very magical. Oh. Can be. See? If you believe, I believe, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be magic for a dude to walk on water. <laughs> and my daughters, this is the first year that she knows Santa doesn't exist. Oh, my. I know. It's been Ugh. kind of heartbreaking for me to try to explain to her, too, you know, that Santa does exist, that he's a feeling, he's a, 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 a oh, gosh, the word is just escaping me right now. But anyway, uh, a feeling and, and the season, if you just embrace it, you know, he does exist. He's the, he's all the Christmas wrapped into this guy. And she just, it's a hard thing for an 11 year old to grasp, you know, I get it, but yeah. 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 My, my nine year old stepson, he, he just uh, come across the idea that Santa doesn't exist. And yet he watched Papa me cause I'm his stepdad. I'm Papa. His dad's dad. I'm Papa. He, he watched me dress up as Santa and go out and visit a whole bunch of little, little kids, you know, in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood that I live in because I got volunteered for it by my <laughs> wife. And I'm like, Oh, we're going to have to come out with a third movie called the bad Santa part three. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> oh, oh, it was fun. Cause at the time my beard was all the way down to here, my beard. Okay. And one of the little kids climbed up in the lap, you know, to get pictures and, you know, her little present and stuff from Santa Claus. And, and she reached up and she grabbed my fake beard and pulled it forward. And she goes, Santa has two beards. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to be her parents that night. But my stepson, I started to explain to him that Santa, Santa has helpers. And yeah. all of us are those helpers. Yep. That as we get to a certain age, we start getting trained to become Santa's helper. Right. And when I, when I dressed up as Santa Claus this, this past Christmas, I became his physical representation yeah. for all the little kids here. Right. And, and, you know, if it hadn't been for his mom saying, you're playing Santa Claus this year, I wouldn't have even known that anybody needed a Santa Claus. But we all need Santa Claus. But could you imagine being from this part of the world, you know, and all of a sudden this fella with this accent shows up being Santa Claus? <laughs> Santa's from the South. Santa's from the South. He ain't from the North Pole. What the hell y'all talking about? Where's my grits? He from the South Pole. Where's my grits? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, Rena, welcome to the show, darling. We're gonna Thank you to, very much. We're going to have to do this a couple more times a week. And hopefully we're not as busy as we are. But I know. I say, folks like us get things done. Right? We do. Yep. So in the future, I'm not going to ask you any more stuff about my channel, our okay. channel. I'm going to ask you about things about you and what you're doing, how many people you're helping, and what you want to know based upon stuff that uh, I continue to put out, at least one video a day. Okay. So when I bring you on, you're going to be asking me about that stuff I've been talking about. So there's your homework. <laughs> yeah. On it. Yeah. And then you and I need to get together and do some picture stuff. Yes. Do you know what your schedule is so I can block off time next week? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Anyhow, okay. we're going to shut this down. Have a good afternoon, girl. You too. Anything Thank you. you want to say to the guys and girls out there? I look forward to meeting you all and uh, interacting with you all and feel free to ask me any questions and I'm excited to be here working with Wesley. <laughs> and what do we say at the end of the broadcast until next time, folks, keep your, keep I don't your... remember what?
Keep your Richard in trouble. Richard in trouble? Yeah, stick on the vice. I mean, I'm trying to get you to say something, but you're not going to do it. No. Stick on the ice, folks. Love stick that. on the ice. Hockey. That's right. I should know. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice.